Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Names of the day of resurrection and their connotation in the glorious Quran. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Allah, there is no God except him. He will surely assemble you for account on the day of resurrection, about which there is no doubt, and who is more truthful than Allah in his statement. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The glorious Quran spoke about the Day of Judgment and the conditions of people on it in a way that reveals its nature, details many of its events and incidents. It, it is a day of resurrection, the day of accountability, the day of judgment, the day of recompense, the day of meeting, the day people are word of the day of a mutual loss and gain, the day of gathering, the day of calling, the ever approaching day, the day of etern eternity, the day of truth, the promised day, the witness day, and the day of great announcement. There is no doubt that giving numerous titles for that day or for the day of resurrection in the glorious Quran indicates its great importance and necessity to get prepared for it. The glorious Quran has spoken of some of the titles of the day of resurrection. The most famous and most frequently used name in the glorious Quran, it is the day of resurrection. It is mentioned about 70 times in the Quran. It is mentioned about 70 times in the Quran. And one of the surah of the Quran is given the name of resurrection. The surah starts with he saying the, of the Almighty Allah by the day of resurrection. This indicates the seriousness of that day. Allah the Almighty also said, Allah, there is, there is no God except him. He will surely assemble you for account on that day of resurrection, about which there is no doubt. And who is more truthful than Allah in his statement? In another verse, Allah the Almighty says, Allah will judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning their differences. The day of resurrection is the day of reckoning, the day of accountability, and the day of appearing before Allah the Almighty. Allah says, on that day you will be brought to judgment before Allah and none of your secrets will remain hidden. Allah also said, we are delaying it only for a, speci a specified period. And when that day comes, no soul will speak except by his permission. And some of them will be rich and some will be happy. The rich one will be on the fire, signing and groaning. There is, no, there is two remaining or to remain for as long as the heaven and the earth endure unless your Lord will otherwise. Your Lord carries out whatever he wills. As for those who have been blessed, they will be in paradise. They are to remain as long as the heaven and earth, unless your Lord will otherwise an unceasing gift. The day of resurrection is the day of truth. The day of resurrection is a day of truth. The Almighty Allah said, that is a day of truth. So whoever wishes to do so should take the path that leads to his Lord. The wise person is the one who worked diligently for the, this day and is mindful of Allah in the way he deserves. As the Almighty Allah said, you who believe, be mindful of Allah as is due, and do not die except in a state of full submission to him. As the glorious Quran spoke about resurrection, 
It spoke of the last hour, which is often mentioned in the context of the beginning of the events of the day of resurrection. The Quran tells us the knowledge of the hour is known only by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Saying, they ask you prophet about the hour. When will it happen? Say, my Lord alone has knowledge of it. He alone will reveal when its time will come. Allah also said, knowledge of the hour of resurrection belongs to Allah. It is he who sent down to the living rain and he who knows what is hidden in the womb. No soul know what it will reap tomorrow and no soul know what land it will die. It is Allah who is all knowing and all aware. When the messenger of Allah peace be upon him was asked about the hour, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, the one who asked about it does not know more than the questioner does. Thus the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prevented any attempt to give an opinion about the time of the hour. Because if the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has no knowledge about it, then who can dare to give an answer about its timing? All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. The question that we'll, we all should ask ourselves is, what have we prepared for that great day? What have we prepared for that great day? A man asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about the hour, means the day of judgment, saying, when will the hour be? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, what have you prepared for it? The man said, the love of Allah and his messenger. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, you will be with those whom you love. So we should be busy with preparing ourselves to meet Allah the Almighty by perfecting our work and fulfilling the responsibility that Allah assigned to us. It is reported that Al-Fadl ibn Iyad one sat with an old man and asked him, how old are you? The man replied, 60 years old. Al-Fudayli said, for 60 years old, you have been traveling toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that you have almost arrived. The man was reduced to silence. He whispered, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. To Allah we belong and to him we return. Al-Fudayl asked, do you know the meaning of that statement? The man said, yes, this means I'm a slave of Allah and that to him I will return. Al-Fudayl said, whoever knows that is he is a slave of Allah and that to him he shall return should know that he shall be brought before Allah on the day of judgment. And whoever knows that he will be brought before Allah, let him also know what he will be responsible for what he did in life. And whoever knows that he will be responsible for what he did, let him know that he will be questioned. And whoever knows that he will be questioned, let him bear an answer now. The man cried and said, O oh, Fudayl, what that shall I do? Al Fudayl said, It is simple. Do good in what is left in your life, then your past will be forgiven. We need to hurry to, do, to make good deeds which are beneficial for ourselves and to do good to other people so that we can find the reward for that on the day of judgment. The Almighty Allah says, they will find everything they ever laid, they ever did laid in front of them. Your Lord will not be unjust to anyone. Allah also said, whoever has done in atoms weight, weight of good will see it. But whoever has done an atom weight of evil will see that. 
We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among the successful people on the day of judgment. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.